Hamilton and our bird pals of Regis have looked to be feeling tremendously excellent. <laughs> and the right ear, yes, left ear, perfect. Victim is showing signs of regaining consciousness to be expected. And Tim's heart race is quickening. <sighs> Temperature is a perfect 98.6, as expected. And... Oh. Victim has regained full consciousness. Well, what are you going to say? I know you're going to say something. Why are you tied up? Well, I'm very sure that it's... Well, at least a little bit obvious. Uh, where are you? Well, you aren't at home anymore, are you? <laughs> You're not at home anymore. But I suppose this could be your new home. Yes, I could make adaptations for you. Uh still wondering where you are. Well, you, my little victim, you are in my house. Who am I? Funny you should ask that, because no reason whatsoever. Uh, sorry, it just, the way your eyes, like, widen just a little bit to see what I had to say. It was just inspiring. But to answer your question, um, my name is Eris. And, well, you've heard my names in the news, haven't you? Names? Yes, there's more than one. Um, the Silent Killer. Um, the... What was that one? That that news reporter so lovingly called me crazy bitch. But I would much, much rather you just call me Eris. Um, why are you here? Uh, well, that's sort of a long story, isn't it? Um, well, the reason that you're here is when you woke up in the middle of the night, and heard creaks and uh what did you call it what did you say to the police whispers begs for mercy um and at first you supposed it would be a neighbor upstairs doing something hmm, <laughs> not so safe for but then you started to hear the creaks getting louder and the begs for mercy turning into screams of pain and well people are strange strange creatures aren't they no i i i um i assure you nothing um nothing sexual was going on which is what you thought was going on, what you hoped was going on, but what was actually going on was your, um, your neighbor upstairs, uh, you know how they keep their music on a little bit too loud during the nightly hours, yes, yes, you understand. Well, I was starting to get a little bit fed up of that, and I took it into my own hands, and with my own hands, I stabbed them 28 times. 28 stab wounds. I didn't even give them a chance, did I? <sighs> but that doesn't matter as much to you. Well, after I had finished killing him, stabbing him, um, stuffing him in his own washing machine, 
Uh, I heard police sirens, and I just don't like police sirens, as as you can see. I'm whispering. I don't, I don't seem to like loud noises. They make they make my skin just. It's not very good for me. I don't like loud noises, and the only thing worse than um loud music waking me up in the night is police sirens. So, um, I needed to find the source, what made the sirens start. So I walked down the stairs and I could hear you practically <laughs> whimpering. And were you crying? Yes, yes. Now I remember, you were crying. Um, like a little bitch, one would say. So, I, um, I used your key. Yes, your key. I found it under your rug. Very original place to put it. I found your key, um, opened your apartment door, walked in, and put my gas mask on. And then, I sprayed Febreze everywhere. That's how I knocked you out. Oh my god, you almost actually believed me. No, no. I walked in there, walked right behind you, and you had no idea. And I sneaked my hand around your neck, and I walked really close to your ear. And I put my favorite chemical onto your breathing waves. Chloroform, 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 chloroform. Such a beautiful element. It's such a beautiful chemical. It's just, without it, where would I be? Maybe behind bars. <laughs> maybe in hell. Or maybe I'd just be a normal ass person. I used the chloroform, and you slept. One might say. I took you and your body, and I brought you. To where you are now. My house. See, um, I don't really like it when people tell on me, when people tattle on what I've done. So I decided that I would like to punish you for calling the police on me. Oh, don't worry, it's not that bad. It won't be that painful. Um, what was I going to do to punish you? Is that what you're asking? Sorry, your voice is still a little low, and you sound a little hoarse from, I would imagine, screaming, but you really didn't do any of it. Very quiet, I appreciate that. Um, well, as you can see, I have these, um, muscle stimulators right here. Now, um, yes, yes, you see them in pornos all the time bad pornos, but still pornos. Um, I'm going to take these muscle stimulators, I'm going to put them right there on your bicep and on your tricep. And I'm not, I forgot the muscle name for your, um, your forearm, but, um, I'm gonna put it right on there too. So, um, you may be asking me, Eris, Eris, what are you doing? What are you doing, Eris? You're putting these weird tape things on me, and what are you going to do? Well, you see this this control right here? Yes. You also see these in pornos. Do you know what they do? Yes, yes. They activate the muscle stimulators. And by activating the muscle stimulators, you will feel an immense amount of pain. And You will be driven mad by that pain after a few hours. I've been thinking for a while, should I electrocute you? Or should I just drive you mad with pain? And while electrocuting sounds very, very fun, I'd like you to be really punished for what you did. And so I have bought these at the store, or I already had them, but I took these and decided to use them. 
This is my first time using them actually, so it'll be a learning experience for both of us. Yes, you can see I'm getting very, very excited. I am so excited. Uh, I've never tried these out before, as I've already told you. Um, but I'd love to see them in action. I'd love to see them in action, okay? So, um, maybe, yes, I'll be nice. Here, here you go, there you go. I gotta get a little bit close to you because, okay, there. Uh, okay, look, I couldn't find anything, so I put my sock in your mouth. Yes, yes, it's, it's dirty, but I do not like using a washing machine. It's always all bloody from the last corpse, and it just makes the sock more dirty. Yes, yes. Would you rather have a bloody sock or a dirty sock? <laughs> oh, you humor me because I cannot understand a word you're saying. Um, why did I put a sock in your mouth? Oh, well, um, I don't want you to bite off your tongue from this immense amount of pain. So you just stay there. Um, just gonna press this one, control, and oh, I can already see your face clenching. Oh, that does not feel good, does it? Oh, that's on the lowest setting. Do you think that's bad? Oh. oh. Setting two. Oh, wow. This is just amazing. Victim has started to cry. Perfect. Oh, this is so entertaining. You don't even know. All right, and um, just one more. Let's go to three. Oh, yes. This is much better than pornos. This is perfect. You see, the ones in pornos are very, very low voltage. Um, these, uh... Level 10, it's, what I've heard, unbearably painful. You would rather die than be on level 10. But we'll try out level 10 tomorrow, maybe. Because today, I think you're done. Yes, you seem a little bit tired. <laughs> Don't tell me you want more. Yeah. That's the point. You're not supposed to like it. Now let me take my sock out of your mouth, and you have destroyed it. You have destroyed my sock. This was one of my favorite socks, even though it's dirty, and it's been in your mouth. It, it, it was one of my favorite socks, and you almost bit a hole into it. Uh, it's fine, Eris. It'll be all okay. It'll all be okay. Um, I'm just gonna put that right there. Uh, yeah, you do not look very happy with me. And I do not want you to, um, let out your rage on your restraints. Um, not that you break out of them or anything, just they cost a lot of money, and I don't want them wearing down. They don't wear down easily, but they can, well, they can look less badass than they do now by you struggling, so I'd rather... You just be asleep and actually have to do this kind of struggling thing. So, um, as before, I'm just going to place this mask on your face. No, we did chloroform before. Okay. Have you ever had surgery before? Yes. Okay. So, this is the mask that they put right on your face. Yes, it's already on. Let me fix that around your ears. Perfect. This is the mask that they put on your face when you are about to have surgery, I guess. Um, now, I am going to pump some gas into your lungs. It's going to make you very tired. Um, so, they told me this when I got my tonsils out a few years ago. Okay. Count backwards from... Ten. Ten, yes. Nine. Eight. Seven. Oh, there you go. Already asleep. Oh, 
what a fun day.